Yo, so what's going on, battle? It is Pona. We are back with another gun review for the Close Quarters DLC. What we have today is the L86A2, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the gun, a couple quick updates. A lot of people keep asking some simple questions that I've answered before. People keep asking, hey, when do these maps and everything come out for Xbox? Next week, guys. Supposedly the 12th, um, possibly the 11th. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the 12th. Uh, same thing for PC. PC did get a little lucky, and we do have the guns for some reason. I don't know if it's an issue, if it was intentional or not. Nobody's really addressed it with dice so far. So as it stands, the guns and everything are available on PC, and everything else is available on PS3 right now. As it always is, PS3 gets them a week early, and uh, as I just juke the hell out of that EOD bot, he's got to be pissed. I It took me like three minutes to get the EOD bot kill, but I've messed around with it trolling before with Poopy Gun Loadout, so I know how to use it. And uh, level, apparently <laughs> it took level like 30 minutes to get one kill. So <laughs> apparently uh, it could be a little challenging for some people, but in the meantime, i got to talk about this gun because this gun took me by surprise. Swept me off my feet, didn't know what's going on, baked me dinner, surprise, put candles on, some music, and I'm a special girl. This gun really did shock me, and it, it did the same thing for me in another game we played it in, because a lot of people keep comparing, hey, but why do you say that? Why do you call it the TAR-21 with the MTAR-21? Why do you call it the ACR if it's the ACWR? The L86A2 is basically, you're going to hear me call it the L86 LSW sometimes. The same gun that I've experienced with in other games, and they're all damn near relatively the same thing. They're all related, or they may even be exactly identical, just different names. So, in the meantime... This gun caught me off guard. I started messing around with the M417 on this map, realized I wasn't doing too good with it. So I switched out, put this gun up, I'm like, hey, let's get some attachments. So this gameplay right here that you're seeing with us was the very first time I equipped this weapon. I didn't have any prior kills or experience with the gun in uh, beforehand. And I have to admit that the iron sights are meh. Uh, they're not half bad, but look at the, the how easy this, this recoil is maintainable. Look how quickly they die. So the one thing that I've noticed about this gun and all of the guns so far is they're really, really standing out. Now, this has probably got to be the most successful um, DLC weapon release so far. you got, like, the ACWR, which fires, like, quick, pretty damn decent. Decent in accuracy in the engineer. And then you got, like, an upgrade, in my opinion. Now, a lot of people are mixed on the MTAR. I, on the other hand, think it's the best engineer weapon now. I honestly feel that it is the best engineer weapon out there. It's got quick rate of fire. Actually, I think it's the quickest. It's kind of like that counterpart. You know how, like, uh, in the assault category, you get the M16A3, which is the go-to weapon. That's kind of how the M4A1 is for the engineer class. But you also have that AEK when you want that, you know, rapid rate of fire, when you want what's going on. I guess the MTAR is kind of the engineer shut phone. So as I was saying, it's basically the engineer counter to, uh, you know, what the AEK is in the assault category. Rapid fire, not the best reload in the world, a little bit more difficult to maintain the recoil, but at the end of the day, it's quick, and it's probably the best gun in the assault category, and close to possibly medium range. So you got to keep that in the factor. These, some of these guns are really heavy upgrades, and a lot of guys can compare this gun. Um, it's quick, it's easy, it's, it, it's mobile, you can just be just like com completely versatile. You can just run through, do things, jump. Everything seems comfortable with this gun. It's not your standard uh, weapon in the support category. Now what I like this one so much for is you got that movement, that mobility that you need or that you can really, really take advantage of when you got C4 and everything like that. You got that comfort level, but look at the maintainable recoil. I mean, that was a quick little burst fire. Got the guy over there. That was quick. Now, right here is a bad gunfight. I hit the guy, but I'm managing to survive suppression. He's not able to do anything, and that's another great thing. With that extra 15 bullets outside of the num uh, typical uh, guns that you're used to using, that's a little bit extra. That's an extra guy to kill, a little bit more suppression, and this gun is pretty strong. It usually takes about, I'd say on average, about 10 bullets to kill a guy. Give me them man tags, baby. That's right. Roll you over and cut your nipple off. So... <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, basically, I would recommend this gun to anybody. Um, so far, out of like the six weapons I've tried, this is probably the best all-around gun for the class. And I know I just, you know, completely S the D out of the, out of the MTAR right there. It's incredible. But this gun feels so comfortable. There's something about this gun. Get outplayed right here, son. There's something about this gun that is just absolutely amazing. And... It's comfortable. You know how the M27 IAR is? It's got uh, the easy mobility. You've got the 45 bullets. It kind of feels out of place in that category. It's kind of that rushing uh, assault rifle type feel. The L86 is like that, but this gun is better. 
This is the first gun that I think is noticeably better than almost any gun in the category. So I can't wait to see how this turns out. I mean, there is absolutely no attachments on this, which means just bare butt ass naked. This gun is flawless. It's a model, baby. It's a model. And there's nowhere to go but up for this weapon. That's what I'm so excited about. I've got no attachments on it, and it's performing at this high level, and that's incredible. So outside of all of the guns out there right now, out of all the ones that I've tested with, messed around with, this gun has definitely got to be one of the best, and it's actually got a really controllable hip fire. I am comfortable running straight at a guy and hip firing it close, in between close and medium. We're going to go medium well. That's right. We're, we're going to put a flavor of seasoning or cooking temperature thingy, my bob, in there. And that's what it is. I mean, in medium range, you don't want to hip fire with this thing. But in close range, a little bit, a little bit longer than what you're used to experiencing, this gun is quite accurate. Now, this is just bad shooting right here. Just close your eyes. That never happened. But I have... A different level. I mean, the gun is bulky. It, it seems a little weird to move around, but it's it's quick. It's easy to move about. It does take up a little bit of the screen outside of some of the other weapons. But at the end of the day, this is one of the best and biggest improvements in the category of support. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and favorite. Peace out, guys. Get it. Was he in the pedophile van? What a dick.